The Avengers Endgame directors are tackling Magic the Gathering for Netflix. After pulling in over $2.7 billion at the international box office with Avengers Endgame, the directing duo, the Russo brothers, must be feeling pretty good about their future job prospects. Yeah. Yes. In fact, while they've made it pretty clear that they're stepping away from the Marvel Cinematic Universe for the time being, many are asking, what will they do next? Maybe smaller, more intimate films? Maybe a return to directing TV, like back during Arrested Development days? Or what about this for a flex? How about taking the world's biggest collectible card game, Magic the Gathering, and turning it into a show? That's right, on Monday, it was revealed that the 26-year-old card game, Magic, is finally heading to the small screen as part of a team-up between Netflix and Wizards of the Coast. The Russos are going to bring the trading card game to life in an animated series for the streaming giant. Now, in case you've been living in a cave for the last 25 years and have never noticed what all those gamers are doing on their lunch breaks with a stack of cards. Magic the Gathering is a collectible card game in which players assume the identities of wizards or planeswalkers as they play cards from their deck in an attempt to cast spells and summon creatures to attack and drain their opponent's life to zero. Obviously, the rules are much more complex than that and there are plenty of other ways to win, but that's pretty much the basic gist of it. So how will this work for a TV show? Is it just going to be two players sitting around a table as they sling spells at one another? No! Besides, you can already get that on Twitch and YouTube. Luckily, we do have some details for what we can expect, thanks to the Netflix press release. The Russos will oversee the creation of an all-new storyline and expand on the stories of the Planeswalkers, which are Magic's unique magic-wielding heroes and villains as they contend with stakes larger than any one world can hold. If you're one of the players that dropped out before Planeswalkers were introduced back in 2007, these characters slash cards are typically some of the more powerful cards in the game, with some fetching 20 to 50 to 100 bucks on up. As the name implies, Planeswalkers are characters who are able to travel between planes in the Magic Multiverse and usually help drive the narrative story of the game forward, as each Planeswalker has their own agenda. Nicol Bolas, the Elder Dragon, is obsessed with regaining his godlike abilities. Liliana Vess uses necromancy in her quest for power. Ajani uses his powers for healing and purification, and so on and so forth. So why are the Russo brothers the perfect fit to shepherd this project forward? Well, first off, they are Magic players themselves. Yeah. Yes. We have been huge fans and players of Magic the Gathering for as long as it has been around, so being able to help bring these stories to life through animation is a true passion project for us. Secondly, they are masters of the ensemble, the most obvious example being Infinity War and Endgame, but also look at their TV work as they have directed the pilots for Happy Endings, Community, and Arrested Development. These are shows with huge casts and arguably almost too much talent on the screen, yet the brothers manage to give every cast member their individual moments without these shows feeling too bloated. So now consider the fact that there are currently over 50 planeswalkers with about 25 realms or planes that they inhabit. Managing a new narrative around all of these characters and the various realms is right in the Russo's wheelhouse. Of course, it doesn't hurt that joining them to help work on the show are writers, artists, and producers who have worked on fan-favorite animated shows and movies like Justice League Unlimited, Star Wars The Clone Wars, and the Oscar-winning Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. So for the reported 38 million fans who play the game worldwide, it looks like your show is in good hands. But what do you folks think? Are you down for the animated Magic the Gathering series? Do you think that banning Gataxian Probe from the pop format was bogus, and what other card games should finally get their own TV show, Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokemon Uno? Let's discuss. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and mash that little bell to get notified every time we drop a new show or video. And have you ever wondered how long we could live if the sun went away? To get the answer to that question, then check out today's Because Space over on the Because Science YouTube channel. But spoiler warning, it's not looking good.